Lieutenant John Barry has a unique task of heading up Show Me Heroes, a state program that was started by Governor Jay Nixon in 2010. Show Me Heroes is a joint effort between the Missouri National Guard and the Missouri Division of Workforce Development. Our goal is to connect military veterans and service members with employers all over the state. I'll conduct workshops and symposiums to help those employers understand the benefits that military service members and veterans can bring to the workforce. And I also conduct workshops for job seekers to help them understand how best to translate their military skills and experience so that it makes sense for those civilian employers. In Missouri, we've already had over 4,000 businesses sign up for the Show Me Heroes program that have committed to hiring veterans into their workforce. And in the Southwest Missouri region, we have 190 businesses locally that have signed up for the Show Me Heroes program. Show Me Heroes was present at the Joplin Job Fest that was held recently. They recognized six businesses with a Flag of Freedom Award. It's our way to recognize those businesses that have taken the Show Me Heroes pledge and then taken that a step further by fulfilling that pledge and hiring a veteran or service member. And what that plaque is, is it's a, it's a subdued American flag patch that was worn by a Missouri National Guardsman while deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom or Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. Each plaque is unique and on the back has a little bit about the soldier that wore it or the airman that wore it and what they were doing when they did. The organizers of JobFest wanted to show their support for local veterans who are currently seeking new employment opportunities. For the first hour that we were open, we had the honor hour where only veterans were allowed to come inside from 1 to 2 p.m. So all of these businesses that you see behind me had first crack at skilled employees to put on with their workforce. National Guard members and veterans are desirable candidates for Missouri companies who are looking to hire. National Guard service members bring a lot of skills to the workforce. They have already undergone several months of training in many, many different career fields. They typically do not miss work, they're not late, they volunteer for special projects, maybe a continuous improvement project or something like that. They're always looking for that way to improve their workplace and so that's, that's just a bonus. They understand what it is to follow through. They understand what it is to do a good job and to be proud of what they're doing. They understand how to follow instructions. Most of them learn wonderful leadership skills. The veterans that we have working for us really stand out as, as exceptional employees. Eddie Huckel spent 20 years in the military. He was most recently a recruiter for the Missouri National Guard. He decided it was time to retire from the Guard and that created new challenges for him as he looked to transition into the civilian workforce. I haven't filled out a job application or done an interview because I've been in the military for 20 years. So this is all learning processes for me. I have to learn how to do interviews and fill out applications all over and do resumes. The challenges I face are, besides my age and my experience, is really the college, the degree. I have the training, I have the experience, I've been doing the job but I don't have the education showing that I'm certified to do the job. It is a challenge because now I have to compete with people with a degree that might not have the experience, but because of that degree, they might get hired over me. Businesses that are willing to give veterans like Eddie serious consideration for employment are encouraged to take the Show Me Heroes pledge. Show Me Heroes pledge is really simple. We, we reach out to employers, we ask them, to take the pledge, which says that they understand and value the benefits that military training and experience can bring to the civilian workplace. We make it as simple as possible. All an employer has to do is go to our website, fill in some brief information. You go online and say where you are, what your company does, what your hiring intentions are for the year. Very simple. Maybe took 10 minutes. There's no financial obligation. You've got exceptional potential employees being steered your way. The community recognizes you regularly. I think Show Me Heroes is great because it lets the veteran know that there's companies out there that are willing to actually pursue them or even give their resume consideration. So for me coming out to know that there's companies that really kind of do put you on a different level is good to know. It's awesome. Having the table there three years in a row, being the guy recruiting, to going there trying to get recruited, it's awkward. I have to sell myself now. I can't really sell them on the guard, even though I found myself doing that a couple times during the job fest. But hey, you go check out that table, join the guard. I did that a couple times, it was pretty funny. It's hard to turn off, man, once you've been doing it so long. You can learn more about Show Me Heroes at their website, showmeheroes.mo.gov.